why are all your reviews good reviews? Now, this is, this is not a question I actually get a lot directly, but I see people implying it in the comments on other YouTubers' channels, and not necessarily about my channel in particular, but about large YouTube channels in particular. And, and the funny thing is, every now and then I see a smaller YouTube channel uh, shooting across our bow, so to speak. Not just mine, you know, other channels that you all like to watch and everything somehow suggesting that we're on the take and that's why we do mostly good reviews but it's it's nothing like that there's no conspiracy here first of all you have to understand a few things about how i started when i started my channel if you look at the description that i have for my channel on youtube i haven't changed a single word since i put it up there and in it it says that the purpose of this channel was for me to do videos on stuff that i think is really cool I never intended for this channel to be one where I just reviewed everything that I could get my hands on. Uh, I, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. And uh, then combine that with the fact that for a very long time, I had to buy everything that I was going to review. So if I'm spending my money on something, uh, I want to make sure that I'm going to want to keep using it after I do a review, even the stuff that I bought specifically for this channel. So I was very, very selective, uh, did a lot of research before buying stuff to do a review on, which meant that I didn't get uh, stuff in that turned out to be horrible and would turn into a bad review with a few notable exceptions. And uh, that's really one of the points is if you, if you really think I've never done bad reviews, you haven't watched enough of my videos because I've done a few and they've really and they've really taught me a few a few things. First of all, I really don't like doing bad reviews. I just don't like doing it. And um, the second thing is, bad reviews don't get shared. They're really important to the people who want to buy that thing, but by and large, people don't find bad reviews or reviews about products that are like, eh, very interesting. And to, when you consider that I'm spending the same amount of time and money to make a review on something that actually works, that does what the manufacturer says it's going to do, as I would on a product that doesn't work. I just, there's, there's not a lot of logic to doing bad reviews except to kind of generate street cred. And I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm not on the take. I give you my honest feedback about the products that I feature on this, on this channel. And part of what makes that easy is as if I don't like something, I'm not going to take it in for t and &E. if, if I don't think I'm going to like something, I'm not going to bring it in for t and &E. If I get it and right away I know, you know what, this, nah, this isn't a good match for my channel, I move on to, to something else that I'm going to enjoy using and that I'm going to enjoy testing and something that I think I can recommend. The other thing is I think some people are a little tone deaf to reviews. Like they, they don't hear when I, when I say stuff that I don't like about a product. I mean, there are products that I recommend that have features that I don't like or features that I think maybe some people out there might not like. And I tell you that. But it is not my nature to just dump all over things because there's a feature or features that don't meet my expectations. That's just not my nature. I am not going to trash talk stuff. And if it's, if it's that bad, then it's not going to end up on my channel in the first place. If I hate it that bad, I'm just going to be like, I'm not, I'm not wasting my time on a video for, for this product. I'm going to spend my time doing a video that's going to help out a, a company that's actually delivering what they're promising their customers. That's, that's another way, the, um, another factor in my decision process is that that's, that's happening. My videos help the manufacturers. And why should I spend time on a video for a manufacturer that isn't going to meet the needs of the customer, at least through my eyes, when that, that is taking the place of a video that could help a company that is. And, and, and that's, that's really what it comes down to is I've got a limited amount of time to do videos. And every time I do a video means that there's something else that's not going to get done. There's another video that's not going to get done. And as I mentioned in, in my channel update uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, my running list of ideas for videos, this, uh, this isn't products that I have to do reviews, but just ideas on, on novelty vids. Uh, I've got short story, like short film kind of stuff that I want to do. Um, stuff on like answering, is it a silencer or is it a suppressor? Videos like that, 
Um, every time I do a video, something doesn't get done that's on that list. I'm lucky that I've got the ability to do a lot of different videos, not just reviews, but, but novelty stuff. And, every, and I've got some pretty cool stuff lined up. So I don't have to do videos on stuff that I don't like. And really, when you, when you think about, some people were saying, you know, these, these channels are afraid to do bad reviews because they'll make a company mad and then they won't get the, the media allotment for stuff anymore. There are gonna be over 1,600, 1,600 companies at SHOT Show in two weeks. 1,600. I can make every company mad that I've done a review uh, on one of their products so far and it won't matter. It will not keep me from being able to do videos in the future. There are just so many companies out there making really cool, making really interesting products. And it, it just makes it very easy for me to stick to doing reviews on stuff that I like. And, and that's in, in a nutshell. Um, nobody's buying my opinion. Uh, I'm not changing what I say about something because I'm afraid of the companies that are sending stuff for me to test and evaluate. evaluate. No way. It's just simply that I want to do, I want to spend my time with stuff that I think is cool. I want to share with you videos on stuff that I think is cool and that's it. N nothing, no conspiracy at all.